1929. German railways want a high-speed railcar. Engineer Franz Krockenberg comes up with a remarkable idea of designing a locomotive with an aircraft engine and a propeller at the back. Because why not? I mean, that'll make your train move faster for sure. Krockenberg's design was built and thus the singular Schienen Zeppelin was born. Literally named a Rail Zeppelin due to its resemblance to the airships of the time and Herr Krockenberg's previous experience designing both Zeppelins and aircraft, the Schienen Zeppelin was one heck of an experiment. Built in 1929, the Rail Zeppelin weighed 20 tonnes, was streamlined, and had a 46 litre petrol powered BMW V12 engine, which was used in German aircraft of the time. It had an unusually long wheelbase and ran on just two axles. It was mostly built out of aluminium to reduce weight and had room for 40 passengers, with a special compartment for smokers, because why wouldn't it? It was the 30s. It was quite unlike any other locomotive existing at the time, as steam power was still dominant on most railways, and we haven't even mentioned the propeller yet. The aircraft engine and the singular propeller allowed the rail zeppelin to reach remarkable speeds. On the 10th of May 1931, it achieved a speed of 200 km per hour, or 120 miles per hour, for the first time. On the 21st of June 1931, it set a new railway speed record by reaching 230 km per hour, or 143 miles per hour. This record would stand until 1954. The Schienen Zeppelin still holds the land speed record for petrol powered rail vehicle as of 2022. Not too shabby. But as one can imagine, there were drawbacks to the design. For one, it was a singular rail car that was incapable of being coupled to other wagons to form a train. The nearly 20 meter long wheelbase made turning on tight curves difficult, and it couldn't climb gradients due to the separation of flow by the propeller at full power. Reversing the vehicle was inadvisable too, and there were concerns about running a high speed rail car on the old rail networks in Germany. Not to mention the idea of an open propeller in a busy station surrounded by passengers is enough to make anyone shudder. I mean, look at this, this is going to be one of the most ridiculous photos I've ever seen. It's just a disaster waiting to happen. It was rebuilt twice over its lifetime with small changes being made each time. The four bladed propeller would be swapped out for a two bladed one and an additional axle would be added to the front bogey. The front of the loco would also get a new look at the time a new engine was installed as seen in this photograph here. It was eventually decided that a propeller and aircraft engine were not the most ideal way to power a high speed train and the German railways would instead build and utilise the diesel-electric Hamburg Flyer instead. The rail zeppelin met its unceremonious end when it was dismantled and scrapped in 1939. And no, that wasn't because an unassuming passenger got sucked into the propeller. It was because its materials were needed for the German army. Hmm, what was happening in 1939 that involved the German army? Huh. At the end of the day, the rail zeppelin was a wacky idea that, unlike real airships, never got off the ground. <laughs>